Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. Sign up for my weekly email to receive free product sheets and updates on sales. Today's card, we're actually making three cards out of one piece of designer series paper. This is Stampin' Up's patterned paper and it's got two sides. It makes for really quick and easy card making. So the design I'm going to show you is something that you can use with it like any stamp set that you have. So I'm so excited to show you that. Um, oh, we're also going to be using the new in colors. These are out of the new catalog, the inks and the cardstock and the colored twine. So if you don't have a hard copy of the catalog and you want one, there's just there's a link down below where you can request a copy and I'll get one in the mail to you. Let's get started. <music> So you can see this layout is perfect for any stamp set. Any stamp that you love, you put right there on the circle. Um, and then you cut your designer series paper, a thick strip and a thin strip. I'm going to show you how to cut that to get three cards at one time. And when you cut all your stuff out ahead of time, man, you can just bam, 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 get them done real quick. Then you just add your sentiment and a little ribbon and it's done. Now for this circle, you can use a three inch circle punch. I'm going to use the new stylus shape dies and use this three inch. And it's got this little like um, perforation looking design on it that is really cool. And for our example card, I'm going to be using this new stamp set cup of tea. So awesome. I'm you are going to see me making a lot of projects with this stamp set. I'm also going to show you how to um, for the rest of the three cards we're going to make. I'm going to use other stamp sets just to give you an idea of what you can do with the stamp sets that you have at home. All right, so we're going to start by cutting our designer series paper. I just want to show you this paper really quick. Wow, this looks really busy. But um, these are the um, perfectly penciled uh, designer series paper, and it's all black and white with these awesome designs on the back. Seriously, this paper you're going to be able to use with any stamp set also because you can add any color to black and white, and it's going to look awesome. So I cut those ginormous pieces of paper down to a six by six. It just is easier for me to, to use. So now I'm going to show you two different ways to cut this. The first way is if you want to make three cards. So we're going to cut this down to five and a half, which is the, the size of our card base so that this is going to fit on there perfectly. Now this is going to be scrap. You can use it for another project. Now you're going to rotate this and we're going to cut it at one and a half inches three times. Now we've got one piece left and we're going to cut this into half inch strips three times, one for each card. Now when I'm cutting thin strips, I like to use this side of my paper trimmer. Look at these lines that you can line this up with so you know it is going to be perfectly straight. I love that. Now this last strip, when you cut it in half, those are half inch strips, so perfectly. So there you go. We're going to use I'll show you. <laughs> so each of these will make one card like this. Wow, this is going to take me way too long, but you get the picture. And so your only piece of scrap is this one. Now, the other option I'm going to show you is if you want to make one card and a and also a flap for your envelope. So with this, you're going to take your six by six sheet and you're going to cut two and a quarter inches off while it's still a six by six sheet it's because you need this you need six inches by two and a quarter inches to cover the flap of your envelope now you're going to rotate this and cut it down to five and a half which is your card base size and now you're going to cut the two strips for your card which is one and a half and a half an inch and now the rest of this will be scrap but don't throw it away you can use it for another card that you have that you could make and actually you could turn this into another one of these one and a half by half inch strips now just to show you you would use that envelope um, to decorate the flap of your envelope you would put glue on your envelope glue this down making sure this is nice and straight turn it over and trim around to decorate that flap of your envelope all of those measurements and some cutting diagrams are over at my website, sunnydaystamping.com. You'll find a list of the supplies and you can purchase right from there. Now, if you'd prefer to have a printed project sheet, I send these out to my email subscribers. So you can sign up for that on the link down below in the description. All right, so we're making three cards at once. So you're going to take your card bases 
and your designer series paper and glue those all on there. And then we're gonna use all of these great new in colors to decorate the fronts of our cards. Now, as you're gluing these down, you want to um, make sure they're not overextending your cardstock so that's all lined up really nice. So there, that part is done. Aren't those pretty just like that? Man, I kind of like that just with the sentiment. But we're gonna do we're gonna do it this other way. Now go ahead and cut yourself three circles and we'll decorate those with different um, stamp sets. Now you could do all the same stamp set to save time, but I really wanted to show you how you can use this for different stamp sets. So I'm gonna do some different ones. I'm gonna talk through the first one and the next one I'll put in double speed. So one thing I wanted to talk about was these new stamp sets, when you, if you get new stamp pads, they are so generous with their ink. They are super, super inky. So take a spoon, this is a tip, and push that ink off to the side so that your image isn't oversaturated, and then just wipe that off. I'm gonna take the teacup and kind of put it right over that uh, ink that I pushed out of the way. So that's a really good image. Let me show you the mistake I made on the inside of this card. You can see that it's just kind of bleeding out of the way. It's oversaturated. So by pushing the ink from your ink pad out of the way, you're gonna avoid that problem. Now check this out. This little thing can come out of your teacup. I just think that is so, such a good idea. I'm gonna do this one too. This is another new ink pad. All of these are new and so, so inky. Just gonna line that up on the top. And you know, I don't mind this extending out off the top there. I think that looks really cute. So now that is done and we're gonna put it right on our card base. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle towards the top. You could also move it off to the left a little bit if you have a longer sentiment, which maybe I'll do that. Did I say left? I meant right when I said left. <laughs> so now you're gonna pick which sentiment you want to use on the front of your card. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna just pull another piece of paper from that in color pack. It comes with all five colors um, of cardstock, so you can really mix and match them for a great, you know, easy way to make cards. So instead of cutting this out first, I am going to just center it up on the bottom of my cardstock here and then trim it afterwards so I don't have to measure. Now I'm just going to test this on the front of my card and I'm realizing, wow, that's a little too big. So I'm just going to trim a little off and I'll just keep trimming until it's where I want it. There, that looks a little better. It's not covering up as much of that uh, cup. Now the other new product I'm going to use are is this Baker's Twine in color uh, twine pack. It comes with all five and it matches all the cardstock and all the ink. So, I mean, look how many projects you can make with this. It'll be great. So I'm going to use this green one because it's going to pick up the green from there and the green from my sentiment. And I'm just going to measure how much I need. Now you can see why we cut our card base this way, because we need to be able to tie this on here. One tip, if you want it to be fuller, you can actually double it over and tie it and it'll give you a, you know, more, more fullness and a couple more tails to, to make your front of your card look prettier. So I'm just going to center that up and I am tying this upside down because sometimes that helps have the tails lay straight. And sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes bows are just, <laughs> just really hard. <laughs> so, oh, wow. I got that first try. I can't even believe it. Okay. 
So now I'm really proud of myself. And I'm just going to pull on these tails just to make that a little bit smaller. Make the ribbons a little smaller. There we go. All right, then we're going to put our sentiment here, straddling that, um, that twine. So I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to pop it up. You could also just glue it down. I'm going to put them on either side, making sure I'm leaving like a channel to uh, have that twine go through. I could also cut these Stampin' Dimensionals in half, but we won't do that right now. All right, and we just line it up there. And there we go. So now we want to put something on the inside so it's not so plain and so that you can see writing when you do go to write on it. I'm going to use this other teacup out of this stamp set. I'm just going to put it down in the bottom here. And I'm going to use this little flower out of here with um, look at all the look at all the things in that stamp set. I just love it. I am gonna push this out of the way. This is sweet sorbet, another one of the new colors. We're just gonna do like this. I'll do this here. I'm gonna have one coming off the bottom. Oh, so cute! Now we'll just glue that on the inside. I'm going to set this one aside and we're going to decorate these other two card bases. And at the end, I've got some examples of some other cards I made using different designer series paper. So stick around for that. These are so fun to make and so easy to design. You just have to put a little something in that three inch circle, which is uh, so easy. Here's a, a pansy one. And this one I made with the Flowering Fields designer series paper. I decorated all the envelope flaps with this one. Um, you can buy all these supplies over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. I'll have a list so you can view all the different color combinations. If you are loving all of these products and your wish list is really long, you may want to consider joining Stampin' Up. You become a demonstrator, but you don't have to demonstrate anything. You can be your own customer and you don't have to sell anything to anyone. You can buy the starter kit and get all the freebies that come with it. Um, and then from then on, you get a 20% discount on everything. If you have any questions about that, please reach out to me. You can also, there's a link down in the description for more information on that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.